Hi, I'm Eldon. I work at Synopsys as a verification application engineer. In this video, we're going to examine a unique cause to the VCS simulator elaboration warning, select index out of bounds, SIOB. This warning is commonly seen because of an access to an element of an array that is beyond the size of the array. For example, a 4-bit array, 3 down to 0, has 4 accessible array elements. Attempting to access element 4, remember we're using a 0 based array, would result in this warning. Today, our use case is a little more nuanced. In this example, we have a system Verilog design that has a few identical modules, of module type M, that are instantiated with a parameter, parameter X, in values ranging from 0 to 3. When we examine how this parameter influences this conditional if statement, we can see that there is no possibility that we could be activating the lines 13 through 15 in a manner that would cause the index out of bounds. Yet, we still get this warning. Why is that? You have to think of RTL code like this as simultaneous code. RTL does not execute line by line like a software program. The RTL is actually a structure of physical logical gates that implement a function in parallel. Even though you would not activate lines 13 to 15 procedurally in any way that would cause an index out of bounds, the simulator has to come up with some assumptions while creating the simulation model. The simplest way to look at a logical implementation of this particular always block would be realizing there are two possibilities that happen each pause edge of the clock. Either A or B is going to execute depending on the parameterization. But in the RTL implementation, we are computing both A and B every clock cycle and then using a mux to choose what values to assign to FIFO A. From this perspective, you actually have this index out of bounds happening all the time, just as the warning predicted, and how the warning is telling you this error can exist. Parameters are treated as constants in the system Verilog specification and cannot be modified during simulation time, so there is an argument that this warning is superfluous. If the simulator optimized out code in a way that would eliminate impossible conditions, it is likely if you synthesize this design, it would remove this unused logic. Your friendly Synopsys Synthesis Application Engineer would be able to answer that question. Formal analysis with a tool such as Synopsys VC Formal would also recognize the structure and present you with unreachable lines of code. An improved implementation that would more clearly show your intent would be to use the system Verilog generate statement. With generate, you specify what RTL is actually generated based off something such as parameters. In this case, we can compare the two named begin blocks with the prefix bad compared to just one present named begin good. We can see that the RTL for the conditional lines are actually gone from the simulation model. As an aside, named begin blocks are completely optional in System Verilog, but can be used in tools such as Verdi to help you navigate blocks of code inside your modules or interfaces more easily. As we can see, there is always the bad GT greater than and the bad LTE less than equal blocks. But we can see there is only one good generate block. The path for dead code is never created in our generate implementation, and this does not generate the warning. This is a preferred implementation from many aspects. For one, it is clear which RTL should be generated. You will avoid checks such as SIOB because the questionable lines are never generated. It is also advantageous from the code coverage perspective, since you will not have to write an exclusion waiver for your dead code or have tools like Synopsys VC Formal prove which lines are unreachable. What we did today was look at a warning from VCS that told us about a select index out of bounds and dive deeper into why the problem exists 
and how best to fix it. 